and they're already pumping all hot water inside. Now I'm gonna do something that my old washing machine never allowed me to do it. That is to stop it while it's working. See that? And the door opens. <laughs> Welcome back to the channel folks. If you have an old washing machine like this 10 year old daily plow horse, as you can see what we have here works on a daily basis and it definitely needs some love. You can see the hinges and it will up here in the soap compartment. Ah, God, this screaming, please help, I need some cleaning. <laughs> All right, and all oh, the insulators it has all this gooey gunk all baked in. Look at that. Can you see that? Oh my God, it's pretty much nasty right there. And my wife has been complaining about the smell that it produces. All this gooey gunk produces a very, very nasty smell as you're inside, even though it's empty inside. And actually the drum doesn't really look that bad, but the gunk that you see there, as I was saying, it produces a very funky smell. So what this video is about is we're gonna be getting rid of that with a few things that I'm gonna show you right now. So we go to the drawing board and I'll show you what we're gonna be using to get this job done. And as you can see, the other part of the door is also screaming for help. But trust me, by the time we're done with this video, we're gonna be getting rid of all that. We bring the daily plows back to its old glory. Except we can't fix that. <laughs> yeah. Alrighty, let's just cut right straight into it. I already have all the things you're gonna need for this job prepared here. Here you have the vinegar, that's like 500 milliliters. Three cups is gonna be like 375 grams, that's uh, around here. But I already have my measuring cup, so I'll be measuring that, not just pouring it willy nilly. And here you have the scrub brush for some scrubbing. Here you have some hardcore brush for some more scrubbing. And here a whole trusty toothbrush, also for some light, more precise scrubbing. And here you have the soda, right? This hall we have available here in this part of the world, Poland to be exact, it's 70 grams or to get that, that's a half a cup. So, off to the walking side. Alrighty, so we begin with the hardest cycle we can find. That's 90. Program one, two hours, 40 minutes. Nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. We try the second one, and it says two hours, 21 minutes. I can live with that. Oh Lord Jesus got time for that. <laughs> so what we want to do is get there. Program starting. As soon as we get enough hot water inside there, then we want to pour in our vinegar. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm just gonna give it like 10 minutes and I'll be back. Five minutes later. Alrighty, 10 minutes over, even more than 10 minutes, and they're already pumping off hot water inside. Now I'm gonna do something that my old washing machine never allowed me to do it. That is to stop it while it's working. See that? And the door opens. <laughs> All right, I guess it's not gonna allow me to open it. <laughs> it must be malfunctioning today, but I'm just gonna manually stop it. Just more than enough water we need. So now I'm just gonna dump my baking soda like that. It's exactly half a cup. So that's all we got. And three cups. 375 milliliters of vinegar. That's gonna be like three quarter of the bottle you see me holding. Uh-huh. It's already reacting. That's what you get when vinegar makes contact with baking soda. All right, that's about it. And now we get to scrubbing. Now you want to take your scotch bright and start scrubbing away. I don't know if you guys see there, but that came out really easy. So, so I don't want to punish you guys by watching paint dry. 
So I'm just gonna go over all the nooks and crannies of the washer and by the time we're done, we should have something that is sparkling clean. It is a tedious job to do, but hey, somebody gotta do it. We wanna get all the nooks and crannies now. And then just move on to the outside. And anywhere you can get to it with the scotch bright. That's where the toothbrush comes handy. It's just coming out like chemical or something. I'm damn sure it's really gonna be rewarding when we're done with it. It's just coming off so pretty easy. And go around the door. And we can move on to the soap compartment. Now a little bit of baking soda. And go to town. And done the best that I could do on this side. But on this side, we have a few hard to get to places. I'm just gonna leave it like that. It's gonna be filled with soap anyway, so but I don't waste time on that. But so far, I'm happy with the results. Do the inside a little bit, even though the inside is gonna be done while I turn the closure back on for the full watch cycle. But it doesn't hurt to give it a little bit of manual love and check out all the guns we've been able to get rid of with just mere scrubbing my hand. And we know you won't have way through yet. Remember to complete the job, we still need to turn on the washing machine for some full cycle washing. So close the door and turn on the machine for some full wash cycle. All right, so as we're waiting for the cycle to finish, now I'm just gonna go over the exterior of the washing machine with a damn microfiber towel. So it's looking good, it's looking good. Then I can tell you, it's already looking finished. My God, look at how it looks on the outside. I really can't wait for the program to finish so I can see what it looks like on the inside. But on the outside, it's shiny. God, <laughs> it's amazing what you can achieve with just baking soda and some vinegar, huh? Yes, look at that. Anyway, come back in two hours time and see what wonders he has performed on the inside. The end of the two hours. Let's check what we have inside here. Holy mola. Clean as a whistle. Remember when we started with? The whole thing here was all gunked up. All I need to do is just wipe it a little bit. Believe me, this would have been better if I've done this religiously. This isn't bad of a result for the first time. Now all I gotta do is just repeat this from time to time and we should be building. Look at that. It's all clean for the most part. Some places still have some gowns, but remember this is the first time I'm doing this with this particular washing machine. I'm not gonna exaggerate. I mean, you don't know what it looked like in the beginning. And this is what it looks like now. Uh, and all the way around to the door, the soap section, it's all getting rusty here, it's an old washing machine and I was able to bring it back to a pristine condition as you guys can see. So say no to order from now on and I believe I'll get even a better result if I had to reapply this and just uh, keep up with the maintenance at least once a month or depending on how much washing I do. But I believe for first thing since we purchased the washing machine, this isn't a bad result if we had to be honest. And yeah, there you go. 
show this video you love by hitting that thumbs up button and subscribe if you haven't done so already you can share the video amongst family show it to your friends tell them circuit so show you a very budget hack to get your washing machine sparkling clean on this channel i actually have a ton of diy projects like this you know you want to fix your dishwasher i have a ton of video on that topic on itself just check the link in the description box and with that said i'm circuit and i'll see you in the next one Bye.